and Nick Von Esmark. The new WB Sunday's night of comedy premieres continues. The season premiere of Nicky. Hey. hey. Yeah, the nurse said I could wait in here with you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gynecologist's office. <laughs> so this is where I always wanted to work growing up. <laughs> hey, hey. Bet I could be a master of the barbecue with one of these. <laughs> you must be Dwight. I'm Dr. Barnes. Wow, you're... you're uh... <laughs> yes, I take my work home with me. <laughs> I've looked over your ultrasound and I've located the source of your discomfort. You have a uterine inflammation known as endometriosis. It's a condition that unfortunately in some cases can lead to infertility. Wait, wait, what are you saying? We can't have babies? I'm saying it narrows your window of opportunity. Before you leave, I'm going to want an MRI to determine the extent of the problem. But if you were planning to have a child, I would suggest doing it as soon as possible. <laughs> How soon? Just give me a moment to leave the room. Now? <laughs> well, according to your chart, you are about to begin ovulating, so the next 48 hours would be a good time to try. Look, I know you guys are young, but you seem happily married and responsible. <laughs> you know what, you guys, you, you, you clean these, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm, a baby? Yeah. Holy moly. I mean, sure, we always talked about it, but it was something for way down the road. Yeah, yeah, and, and now it's like there's a sign on the side of the road saying, last chance for gas and baby. <laughs> well, we have no choice. We have to do it. Well, but honey, what about your career? You know, you can't dance when you're pregnant. Sure I can. Okay, let me rephrase that. No one besides me will want to watch you dance when okay, you're pregnant. Yeah, okay, so I guess it just means I'll lose a couple years off my career. But the years when you were going to become a big star. Yeah, but that'll just make it a, a bigger story when I make my comeback after taking time off to be a mom, you know? I'll be like... I'll be the first. <laughs> Well, I guess that would make us real young parents, yeah. which would be kind of cool. Because when he's 12 and all his friends want to have sex with you, but I'm having sex with you, I'd be like, sorry, fellas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You would be the coolest balding sixth grader on the block. <laughs> we can do this. We can totally do this. Except we're broke. So I guess I will ask Jupiter for a raise. I think we'll go for it. Well, we might have to butter him up. I'm not letting him try on my shoes. <laughs> okay, we might have to liquor him up. This is so exciting. We're going to have a kid. I know. And I've already got a name all picked out. Oh, yeah? What is it? Darth. <laughs> Darth? <laughs> what if it's a girl? Dorothy. <laughs>
Tonight's comedy premiere of Mickey is brought to you in part by Sprint PCS. I'd been waiting for a day like this. A day when an all-in-one wireless plan would make things simple for people. The Hi. Go ahead. Turn on the fun. Here's to the future parents. Thank you guys so much for coming. It really means a lot to us. Nah, don't be silly. Whenever dear friends invite you over to celebrate their decision to bring a new life into the world, you tape jackass. <laughs> Thank you. Very sweet. Oh, Jupiter, I want to have a baby with you. <laughs> That is the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me. Hmm. We're going to have to break up now. So, have you two uh, broken ground on the new project? No, we're going to wait till tomorrow. Tonight, we just wanted to spend some quality time with our friends. Mm, best friends. The kind of friends you know would do anything for you. Hmm? Uh, I think I get what's going on now. Yeah, you're shooting blanks and you need my seed. <laughs> wow. Thank you for the offer, but actually, I just need a raise. Yeah. Well, let's see. I could give you a little extra money each week, or I could give you something that's a little bit more valuable than just money. A party! <laughs> hey, everybody. Look what I accidentally found when I was rifling through Nikki and Dwight's bed stand. Hey, those are from the Netherlands, and the FDA is just about to approve them. What are you talking about? It's birth control. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> well, what the heck? Since we don't need it anymore, bring condoms. Yeah! Hey, there's not just condoms in there. There's wet naps and soy sauce. <laughs> oh, we got a really cool Chinese delivery guy. He stops at the drugstore for us. <laughs> Nick? Nikki? What happened? I don't know, but I am totally hungover. Who took Polaroids? Who are all these people? Did you invite these people? Well, I don't know that many midgets. <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember anything. All I had was a couple of beers, and after that, I just drank punch. Uh, me too, and then there was nothing in that but, like, fruit juice and water. And this gallon of Everclear, Jupiter's pouring in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, honey, y you have to talk first. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, hi. Hi, Dr. Barnes. You're sure about that? Well, that's wonderful. Thank you for calling. Honey, you won't believe this. What? The MRI showed I don't have the condition she thought I had. Oh, wow, that's great. So, what was it? Well, I can't tell you right now because it'll make you throw up. <laughs> but it's not serious. And we can have babies whenever we want. Wait, so we don't have to have a baby now? No. Is it okay if I say, thank God, what a relief? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you feel that way, too. What were we thinking? Look where we live. Look who our friends are. <laughs> We aren't parent material yet. Uh, I know, and I, I feel like crap now, but that party last night was awesome. Yeah. I'm not ready to give up doing fun stuff like that. I mean, just look, what a great time me and the midget are having. Yeah. <laughs> look how happy I am walking into the bedroom with you. And look how we're both smiling, coming out. <laughs> and you know that smirk you get after sex that I can never quite describe? Looks like that. No, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's coming back to me now. We had sex in the bedroom. And the condoms were in the living room. <laughs> we got another problem. What? My underwear's full of soy sauce. In two days, the premiere event, Smallville, on the WB's New Tuesday. Don't blame me if this party's no fun. Fun is what you bring with you. 
She's the friend you grew up with. Oh, it's my dad. I never go past second base with a guy, which means nothing below the waist. You are not going to see that girl again. The one you can talk to. Pretend that I'm your parent. I'm pregnant. Next on the new WB Sunday. At American. Season change, but Americans commit. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, uh, hey, hey, hey. What, what are the odds of us getting pregnant after just one time? Unfortunately, honey, I do come from a long line of what are the odds pregnancies. <laughs> okay, well, then, can, hey, can sperm get drunk? Because if mine were as wasted as I was last night, they're just wandering around your fallopian tube saying, I love you, man. <laughs> well, they sobered up, and now they're hungry for eggs. <laughs> We need to go out and get a pregnancy test. Sweetie, it's been one night. You can't tell for a week. A week? Yeah, how are we going to make it through a whole week? I mean, you're, you're barely holding it together now. <laughs> Fortunately, I have you to be my rock. <laughs> well, if we can't find anything out for a week, then we just have to put it out of our minds. Put what out of our minds? You're being pregnant. How could you possibly forget? Uh, okay, I see what you're doing. No. No. How did this happen? How did this happen? loving family and show your gratitude <laughs> there she is my wife you know every time I look at you I see something different like my life flashing before my eyes I need fifty dollars why to show the kids they don't believe we have a college fund <laughs> <laughs> also I'm out of bonbons hey, if I give you this money will you have sex with me no in here. Uh, the couch. From here, I rule the empire. <laughs> Dad, but you had a tough day, huh? Oh, you don't know the half of it, Pud. You know, when you work in a shoe shop, you spend half your life waiting for someone to come in without underwear. Why does it always have to be a 400-pound tranny? <laughs> You mistook my question for actual interest in your life. I just need ten bucks to impress a cheerleader at school. Now, son, any girl that'll be impressed by ten bucks will be impressed by five. <laughs> five bucks? What kind of cheap tramp cares about five bucks? Daddy, Daddy, look. A nice man at the bus stop just gave me five bucks, see? It has the number five and a picture of President Gore on it. <laughs> That's nice, Pumpkin. <laughs> My neighbors, Marnie and Skeev, to what do I owe this almost criminal invasion? I just thought you might like to know that your daughter's dancing for money down at the bus stop. And your son is eating out of our bird feeder. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, is he not leaving enough for your wife? <laughs> Very funny, Dwight. Perhaps if you earned enough money to actually feed your children, they wouldn't have to whore and peck, respectively. For your information, Pud is not a whore. And if I knew what respectively meant, I'm sure I'd have something to say about that, too. I'm sure you would, dear. Well, thank you, Mr. Rose. Hey, if I dance again, will you give me another five bucks? <laughs> All right, Skeet. We're going home. I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> that is one pathetic man. Let that be a lesson to you, boy. Why? I got all the schooling I need right here at home. <laughs> you think I'm pathetic? Dad, my last meal was regurgitated to me by a sparrow. <laughs> and I can barely afford to buy clothes. Luckily, I don't wear many. Face <laughs> it, Dad. You're a loser. Yeah, Daddy. You suck. <laughs> the kids are right, Dwight. Honey, I hope you do better in the man department than I did. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I already did. Twice this week. <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah. You know, I had you kids way too young. I used to wrestle professionally. <laughs> 
Now I sell shoes to transsexuals. <laughs> they steal the hose lids. <laughs> My life sucks! <laughs> Did you bring home any cold beer? This one's getting warm. There. It's cold. Wow. A beer float. What are we celebrating? Any of the kids run away? Nope. Then nothing. Did you eat candy? I don't want you having just sugar for dinner. Go eat your tater tots and jerky. Then you can have the crap. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Wait, you look fabulous. Go there, What? You're acting all polite and stuff. What gives? <clears throat> oh, not now, Mom. I have stuff in my hand that belongs in a Kleenex. Why, <laughs> Mom? Ask what's really on her nose. Shut it, butt vomit. <laughs> all right. What's going on? Nothing. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? Well, for one thing, men used to want me. Now they just want me away from the dessert table. <laughs> oh, my God, she pierced her nose. Dwight, get the pliers. <laughs> I'm not taking it out. It's my nose. Yeah. Why do I always got to be the bad guy around here? Your father, say something. <laughs> All right. Lurleen, I think the fat lady makes a good point. <laughs> Wait, if we hadn't gotten drunk and accidentally made this one. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're still here. I love you, honey. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean that. Oh, I'm a terrible mother. <laughs> I just sleep. <clears throat> Same as all week. I keep having that stupid dream. Yeah, me too. Well, at least today we'll know one way or the other if I'm pregnant. Uh, I, I, I'm scared, Nick. You know, I don't, I don't want to be a bad parent. You? Why would you be a bad parent? Because... I don't know what I'm doing. For God's sake, I let my only son eat out of a bird feeder. <laughs> Coming. Hi, Mom. Did you call me? No. That's why I'm here. You never call me. <laughs> Mom, this, this is really not a good time. Ooh, trouble in paradise? <laughs> Look, Mom, we don't know for sure, but there is a possibility that Nikki's pregnant. And, and we're pretty nervous about it, so if you could just please not start in on us right now. That's right. You don't have to tell us that we're too young and too irresponsible, because we already know. Well, you are young, but I wasn't much older than you when I had Dwight. But I'm not ready. <sighs> Who's ever ready? At least you're better built to handle a 14-pound baby than I was. <laughs> Dwight was 14 pounds. <laughs> and that was two weeks early. He had to leave the hospital in a wheelchair, which he pulled. <laughs> Something just kicked. <laughs> She's very scared, isn't she? Yeah, we're both pretty freaked out. You should be. It's terrifying to raise a child. <laughs> but you, you just said everything was going to be okay. I lied. I didn't want her to be worried about it. Listen, right now, Nikki doesn't need to be worrying about all the things that can happen when you're a parent. The important thing is that you two are going to be fine parents. And you have the most important child-rearing tool there is. Government assistance? <laughs> a doting grandmother who's available 24 hours a day. Now, which would be the best room for me and the baby? <laughs> I did it. You did what? I took the test. And according to the stick, I'm not pregnant. Honey, it's it's not that I don't want to have children with you someday, but... Well, I know 
that you kids want to celebrate. And don't worry. When the time comes, you're going to be great parents. You're going to be older. You're going to be more responsible. And that woman could breastfeed the Italian army. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. So this is, this is pretty great, huh? Yeah, we really dodged the bullet on that one. You know what's weird, though? I'm a little sad. Me too. I, I guess it was uh, sinking in that we might actually be parents. Hey, we could practice being parents with a stick. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go take little Junior for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> or we can just throw him out and go to breakfast on account of he's a stick. <laughs> After two pieces of pie, Eddie K. Thomas is coming to the... It's time. Time for what?